I'm Lisa Armstrong and I'm the hair and makeup designer for Strictly Come Dancing. My role on the show is to create all the hair and makeup designs for every single person that gets onto that dance floor every single week. The concept for the hair and makeup comes from the whole overall look. So we look at the style of dance, we look at the piece of music, and we look at the costume. We then have to marry it all together so it works as an image for that individual person. The typical hair and makeup look for a ballroom dance would normally be very clean, very beautiful. Hair would normally be up so you could see the dancer's neckline and the makeup very glamorous, classically beautiful and just really sort of fresh. A classic ballroom look would be um, Danny in her Viennese walls. A beautiful soft updo, beautiful pretty makeup and a nice colour on the lip. Latin dances are freer, more fun, more high energy. So we'd have down hair, curls, bright colours on the eyes, bright lipsticks. That's where all the shimmer and the sparkle come into it. A classic Latin look would be Denise in her jive. It's a 1950s style dance and you want to see the hair bouncing away with the movement of the dance. The costume does definitely affect where we go down the hair and makeup line. With Kimberly's tango, our dress design and concept came through and it was a white dress. The day of the show, it turned into a royal blue dress. So we then had to rework our design and then colour matched the palette of the lip to her dress. Again, hair in a different sort of style than we were originally going to do because the strongness of the blue, we had to create a strong hairstyle, lift the hair up, almost like a fascinator, and then she could sort of hide behind that and with the eyes and with the head turning, she could create the strength that character dance needs. Whilst we're applying the makeup, you really do see the person transform into that character. <laughs> On the Hollywood week, we turned Nikki Byrne into the mask. It's very important that the audience out there can still associate that that is still Nikki Byrne. So we had to do lots of shading, accentuating his eyes, his features. So actually, you could see that was Nikki Byrne, but he was playing the character of the mask. We not only look after people's faces, we have to look after their bodies as well. Because they've been training all week and they're being thrown around, they do get bruises. When we're watching Dress Run, it's bruise watch, bruise watch. Normally the girls have got quite a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not only just about the hair and makeup, it's about making friendships and having people trust you're about to make them look amazing. They're the ones that are going out there. And literally, you're there to calm them down. You're the last person they see before they hit that dance floor. It's such a nice relationship to have. Is that love? Love. Thank you, Lisa. Isn't she brilliant? Another brilliant lady. And